Margaret Gallagher lives in the thatched cottage in which she was born in 1942. She has no electricity, running water or television. She goes to bed when it gets dark and rises with the sun. Some regard her 280-year-old Grade A listed cottage near Belcou in Fermanagh as a living museum and a preservation of a way of life that might otherwise have been lost or forgotten. Margaret is passionate about heritage and in her efforts to promote it, she welcomes a wide range of visitors through the door of this unique example of vernacular architecture, where she still draws water from the well and bakes in a pot oven on the open fire. I was born into the cottage. I lived with my mother, father and my sister here. My home has three rooms, an upper room, um, taken from the Bible where our Lord met his guests in the upper room, the under room where I sleep, a dumping room and the kitchen. The kitchen is the lifeblood of the house because it hosts a fire and without a fire on the hearth all the time the creosote like coating of soot on the timbers would melt, the timbers would wilt and the roof would come in on top of Margaret. The first coat of thatch is in evidence on the roof and it was flax and the thatches were all local because all the houses were thatched hence you had a uh, supply of thatchers and that time the arrival of a thatcher was like uh, akin to a royalty arriving because they came with all their accoutrements. The build up of thatch is first of all you have the timbers which are original bog oak then you have the um, leafy branches of an alder tree uh, they are called wattles um, W.B. Yeats talked a bit of clay and wattle made and he knew what he was talking about. Uh, next to that you have scraws, which are large sods of bog earth. They sit on top of the wattles. Then you have the first coat of thatch and you have the scallop, which is bent, hairpin like, goes in, hammered in through the, the thatch into the scraw and that holds it. So I do prefer indigenous materials, indigenous tatters, indigenous everything for a house like mine. Once you move from the traditional, you've it lost. Well, the first question visitors uh, usually ask, particularly if they're American, and they usually say, but where do you really live? That doesn't go down. I said, here, actually here. You mean you live here? Yes, I live here. But why? Why? Because it's home and I love it. I have a wind-up radio so I get the day and the date and the time and thought for the day and the Northern Ireland news. I'd never seen any reason to leave my home where I was born in. I, they left the footprint and I carried it on. And I hope to do so until I go out in a brown box. Mm -hmm.